Today we're going to change the oil on a 2010 Infiniti G37. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the cap for the oil. Or I guess it would be open up the hood and then open up the cap. Then we're gonna lift up the car. There's a jack point right there, right on that hook right there. So we're gonna put the, go ahead and move the jack right into position. There it is. And now we'll just jack it up. I'll go ahead and lift it all the way. All right, once you have the car lifted, next step you're gonna do, grab yourself some jack stands. And just put them right underneath the frame. To be extra secure, you can put two of them. Right underneath this bracket, it's fine. That way if the jack were to give out, the jack stands are there to support. All right, next step we're gonna do is go ahead and crawl in there. You're gonna need some hand tools, some sockets. And the sockets that you're gonna be needing, it's actually gonna be a 14 millimeter. And I have this oil filter removal tool. So let's go ahead and go down here. Here's the oil case. And here's the bolt. So we'll go ahead and loosen that up. All right, so just go ahead and break it loose. Uh, this was super tight. I don't know why people like to over tighten these, but the way I break it loose so you don't try to strip anything is I let it sit and I hit it as a fist downward, <laughs> like so, and then give it a couple of hits and it should break it loose um, because it's the impact that breaks it loose. You don't want to break, no cabezas, no hips. All right, so now go ahead and just drain it. Uh, did I say to have your oil pan ready? I think I did. <laughs> Been having problems with my camera all morning. It's turned off on me like three, four times already during this video. <laughs> uh, so anyways, so we'll go ahead and let that drain into the oil pan and we'll come back to it. All right, after five, 10 minutes, this should just be dripping. You could wait a little bit longer um, or not. But what I suggest you do is you clean up the bolt with a shop towel, just uh, disposable shop towels with paper towels. You can get them at Walmart or AutoZone. Uh, I like them. They're super absorbent and they're pretty sturdy. They, they last a long time. Um, they're meant for mechanic work. Anyways, so after you clean everything up, just go ahead and re-thread this screw back into its place. Oh Jesus, I might need both hands. <laughs> go ahead and dry up the oil <laughs> and tighten it as you're drying. And just snug. I mean, tighten, but you know, not fucking. Okay, it's tight, you know? It's ridiculous over tightening. These oil filters should not be over tightened either. You should be able to remove them by hand. Fuck me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Might need the tool to remove that. All right, the way this tool works, you just slip it on here, just like so, and so you gotta flip it around to the other side. I might need both hands. I think I might need both hands. Oops. I'm not just showing the camera. I'm gonna need both hands real quick. All right, so technically, what you want to do is you want to grab it with one hand. 
kind of compress these little ears down into the filter and then just turn it as you tighten it it tightens down here if you're going the opposite way it will open them up so there's only one way to go and it's the correct way so there it is that's how you use this tool all right once you have it loose just go ahead and loosen it up by hand make sure you have your oil pan right underneath it to catch all the oil And that's why you want to uncap the top so you can gurgle, gurgle like that and go, 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 go. Just finish taking it off. Dump it all in here. There's a little spot so it can sit. Alright, now we're ready to install the new oil filter. All right, here is the oil filter number and the oil, 5W30. It looks like it's taking six quarts. So let's go ahead and take out the old, I'm sorry, take out the new oil filter. Ah, oh, this one has a little cover on it. Alright, and what I like to do is grab a little bit of oil from here. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> no, because like, anyways, grab a little bit of oil from where the old oil filter was at. Just rub it around the rim on the new seal. And let's go ahead and place it into its place. So, and like I say, you just want to hand tighten this, grab your towel, extra grip, and that's it. Just wipe it off, wipe everything down, come out, pull out the old oil. So it's a black. All right, crawl out out of there. We now we're gonna remove the jack stands and lower the car. All right, so we'll go ahead and release this one and pull it out. Push that to the side. Same thing with this one. Push that to the side. I'm on the floor. <laughs> come down and loosen it up slowly slowly there it is sweet pick up our flashlight get off the ground <laughs> you don't need to do that on the ground I just did it for the video purposes all right now we're gonna add our oil all right so go ahead and put your funnel into place and first thing we're going to do is start with the small one just because it's the smallest and it's the easiest the other one i'm going to do with both hands all right so i've learned that the best way to pour oil is sideways not like this so let's go ahead and you can see i'm not pouring anything out yet so i'm able to aim it versus I guess it's almost the same, but it really helps a lot like this. And it's able to breathe better. Let's go ahead and get all that oil out. Just put the whole thing in there already. That's it for a little bit while we get this other one ready. Alright, 
so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oop, I'm gonna need that to fill the oil into that. Shit, I'm gonna need the cat too. Damn. Trash digger. All right, let's see if we can do this with una mano. Perfecto. Sweet. Nice. Nicely executed. So let's go ahead and just dump the whole sucker in there. This might take a while. I don't think you guys want to watch that. All right, once you have poured all the oil into the engine, Go ahead and set that to the side. Grab your funnel. Set that in there. So we can drain that in there. Cap it. Make sure it goes in there threaded correctly. There it is. Should not have to hustle with it or struggle with it. And you're done. That is how you make, how you make, how you complete an oil change <laughs> on a 2010 Infinity G37. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. That's how you make new oil. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.